Welcome to Abracadabra TV. The magic is here. Hello, everyone. I'm so grateful to meet you today and take you into Psychedelic Breath, a beautiful journey of the self discovery, self discovery. Let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Eva. I'm based in Berlin, but as most of you in this amazing artist and music lovers communities, I love and used to travel the world with psychedelic breath until a little virus hit the planet, right? So what I want to take you today within the big topic of save our stages, within this big topic of our hearts going wild because we miss the community, we miss the dance floors, we miss expressing our art towards each other and lifting each other up, right? And some of us, some of us and maybe not really uh, a few, have kind of lost the uh, um, possibility to express all that. What happens when we go into what I call a void, when we go into that space of nothingness, of emptiness, maybe of despair? And I know we're here on the first day of a brand new year, but I want to use the chance, having us all here together, to go back into the incredible purpose of having lived what we have lived, of having discovered what you might have discovered during this past year within yourself, within your friendships, and within your art. The void is a space where nothing happens. The void is a space that might feel quite depressing. And psychedelic breath came through me in exactly this kind of energy three years ago. I'm a purpose coach, so I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one to support them into discovering who they are and then go out and share it with this world. And I was asking myself three years ago, okay, now I found so much out of who I am, but how can I share more by my qualities I found within myself? How can I be more of service? So I was quite tense. I was quite sad. And Within that void, I started to meditate. And psychedelic breath, it's a super dynamic breathwork practice that will get you into your deeper states of meditation, actually, is within your brain waves. I started to meditate asking, where am I going? Why am I here? How can I share more? And I got an answer. You have this here today. Psychedelic breath came through me. And I want to share it with you today in a way that I invite you to explore what actually happens when you allow yourself to feel all the feelings, and that might include sadness, helplessness, anger, depression, to feel them, to allow them, and to discover the incredible space of self-discovery within them. Why this is? why this can happen and why we actually need this in our path to purpose, I will explain a bit later. For now, I want to take us all into a beautiful sequence of warm-up breathing, how I call it. So I invite you to find a seat. We're going to do also psychedelic breaths in a few moments seated, but make sure there's some space around you because during the practice, you might want to lay down. Have a blanket or a pillow to sit on, and have another blanket that you can cover up and cozy up during our breathing journey because you might change your body temperature, right? Is this I'll explain in a moment. Yeah, so settle in, find that space. And while you settle in, let me thank you to the amazing team behind Abracadabra to bringing us together in this special and very much potent time to grow. Sit, find that seat. Now all you have to do is close your eyes, relaxing the belly, softening the shoulders, and then we're going to take an inhale as we breathe in all the way deep down into the belly. From here, exhale and release your belly. Good. Inhale, a slow, your deep breath, 
all the way down into the belly, take it out. Good, exhale and allow the belly to release and soften in. Through the nose, inhale, belly expands, expanding further. Now exhale through your mouth on a sound of shh. Inhale into your lower belly. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale right behind your belly button. See if you can really open here. Through your mouth, breathe it out. Now inhale to the side of your rib cage. Open them, expand. Through your mouth, exhale. Inhale, sides of your ribs are opening, widening. Exhale, mouth. Now, take the inhale up into your upper chest. Take the breather into the upper lungs, open, stretch. Exhale, mouth, on three. Breathe out. Two and one, listen, combining, inhale belly, hold it, inhale side of your rib cage, keep it, exhale mouth, inhale belly, inhale ribs, inhale heart space. Exhaling, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, belly. Inhale, ribs. Inhale, chest. Now keep the inhale inside. Beautiful through the mouth. Exhale, breathing slowly out and down your spine. Two, and one. Inhale into the belly, take it up into the ribs, inhale further into the chest and then keep the inhale, if you like draw the belly button to the spine, just two seconds and one through your mouth, exhale, Shh. going empty, now stay empty, soften, belly, And then breathe into the belly, take it up into your ribs, take it higher into the chest, keep breathing into the throat and then hold that breath, four seconds, three, two, and one, through your mouth, exhale, four, breathe out, three, two, and one, go into emptiness, stay relaxed, three, two, and one, now final round, inhale to belly, breathe into the ribs, open up the heart space, breathe in a little bit more, and then keep it, four here, three, two, and one, exhale through your mouth, breathing out, out empty and stay in a soft space and then gently eyes closed allow your breathing to turn back into quite a natural state bringing your awareness to the point in between your eyebrows your energetic center for inner knowing. And however your year has been, see if you can connect to that space there, the wisdom channel, a channel for inner guidance, yours. And as you connect, 
and be with that energy. Let me share with you some thoughts about the purpose of being in stages within your life that don't feel easy, that actually might feel quite senseless. How to find purpose within them? The void is bigger than you are. But rather than coming down hard on yourself as a failure, it might be more productive in the long run to think of the void as a rite of passage, an initiation to the next level of your life. It is a time of germinating the seeds of your new self and a time out where your inner processes sort, clear, and present you with new insights. In indigenous cultures, this time of life is traditionally given over to working with ones in our spirit guides or going on a spiritual quest in order to emerge transformed with a new and deeper perspective on one's lives and purpose. I invite you to feel what resonates with you. And it might be that your intention for our journey ahead is based on honoring your courage, your presence with these moments, and welcoming the space of answers. So, what is your question? What's moving you? And allow that question to be of guidance during the psychedelic breath experience ahead of you. If you like, take your hands together in front of your heart as we're tuning in to discovery with an own begin here. Go gently release your hands and open your eyes. Without many more words, I want to show you how we're going to breathe in psychedelic breaths to guide you into the field and space of answers. We take an inhale through the nose and the inhale starts from our belly, the diaphragmatic area into the chest. It's strong. It looks like this. Our exhale is a through the mouth. It's a truly let go. So come with me. Three times we go in. Yes. So people, we are all rhythm people. I invite you to take your rhythm seriously. So that might be, it looks like I just demonstrated, you're going rather slow. You go in, out, in, out. You let the torso move. You let the spine move. You move. It might be that you feel the music kicking in. There's a soundtrack I've put together. Psychedelic Press always works with amazing electronic music soundtracks and I often work with artists. Uh, such as words of mine and as it Pauli and Kalita together to create those soundtracks. So if you feel the music kicking in, if you feel the rhythm kicking in, you're so welcome to breathe like this. Look at this. Yeah, that means in other words, go wild as you would go on the dance floor. Having said that, if you feel, whoa, 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 this gets overwhelming, I'm getting too dizzy. I'm getting overwhelmed in all sense of meaning. Slow it down. Breathe slower. If you feel the sitting posture is too much, lay down. Not too much behind your head. Small pillow, okay. Thick pillow, no, no, no. Keep the average open. We're breathing in a rhythm. It's your rhythm, as I mentioned. We have this first part of the technique. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then you're going to hear me saying, now take a bigger inhale and completely exhale. And we're going to drop into breath retention. We're going to drop into empty. You soften the body. 
We relax and we're going to stay there for a little while until you hear me saying, now please take a big inhale. You're going to breathe in. You keep the inhale inside for a couple of seconds and then we release. This is one cycle. So we have a couple of those cycles ahead of us. If you feel I want to stay longer in the exhaling out silent moment, stay longer. Just follow in your own pace then. If you feel this is way too long, if it's keeping me down there in the exhaling out, you just breathe in and keep the inhale earlier than I see. Super important, people. I feel you, but I'm not with you in a space. You know your body. Your body will give you signs. Listen to them. Serving the edge does not mean you're jumping over, okay? So what will happen in your brain is quite fantastic. Your brain waves will slow down. be dropping from alpha to theta, maybe to gamma. That might mean you will experience deeper states of meditation, maybe spiritual insights, maybe colors. I don't want to say more. It's your journey. Can you allow that to be with you? That's the nice part. Your physiology will react. You're breathing your blood into more alkaline state. Yeah. So we know that when we breathe that fast, that rhythmic, that certain um, uh, calcium ions bind to proteins in our blood. That means areas in our cortex, the motor and sensoric areas will fire and tell your body to make cramps in your hands, tingling in your face. You might feel your hearing gets a little bit blocked. You might feel your nose burning. These are sensations that will pass after the session. Why do I tell you that? Because I want that you feel safe. This is an intense journey, people. You showed up because you want to know. So it's not relaxing. You will deeply relax after. Yeah, and before we begin, and we begin in a minute, let me just say, contraindications, it's a strong practice that changes brain chemistry. So if you suffer from epilepsy, psychosis, or clinical anxiety, as well as from heart vascular disease or high blood pressure, high inner eye pressure, or you're still healing a broken bone in your body, a wound, or you're pregnant, ladies, please breathe not like this. What you can breathe is an amazing technique to set you into alpha brain waves to meditate. It's four counts in, keep four counts, exhale four counts, hold it out four counts. Yeah, no pressure, no fast breathing. Okay, people, we go in. Find your seat, close your eyes. Soften into your beautiful body. Soften into your question. And then take a first inhale through the nose, from the belly into the chest. Exhale, mouse. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. But keep breathing. Inhale is the nose. Exhale is your mouth. And as you're opening this first cycle, I invite you to feel into your body. Creating a conscious connection by breathing into it with it. Becoming present with each and every sensation that will show up. As you inhale and exhale with our beautiful Vimurian who created psychedelic desert song. Right here. Let's see if you can allow yourself. Your 
physical form. You might want to open up to honoring your body. That body that took you through this crazy year. physical changes occur, can you resist them, having your body by your side, couple more breathers for cycle number one. bigger in here and now completely exhale go empty empty and stay exactly here see if you can soften the belly Take a big inhale, breathing in, and keep it, hold it, if you like, draw the belly button to the spine, keeping the inhale, five, three, two, and one, and slowly breathe out. Exhaling here to begin cycle number two. We inhale, exhale, deep inhale, relax, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, follow your pace. might be a little bit faster than before. Opening up the next cycle, the next stage. And as you breathe into it, I invite you to feel into the moments of this past year that I felt incredible, heavy. Where you found himself vulnerable, maybe desperate.
laziness arise? Can you actually use it? Allowing it to intensify. Breathing with it, through it. In. Bridge, she breathing really is. 
Begin cycle number four. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Inhale. Center of your heart. Exhale. Let it go. If you think about what falling in love really means falling in love is life really feels like there's a big part of losing control of allowing yourself to surrender into 
very own purpose on earth. So just follow the wisdom of breathing your own inhale. Just 
digger deep in here, freezing up and into your spine. Keep the inhale. And as you turn your eyes looking up, see if you want to connect as a space. Above you, a space called pure possibilities. Holding, knowing that you have two more cycles ahead of you. Slowly release, exhale, breathe out, and when you're ready, open up. Cycle magical number seven. Inhale, exhale, in, out, the number of synchronicity. The moments when things align. Can you allow yourself to say yes? I see you. Yes, I want that. Yes, I take it. In, out. And as you keep breathing, I invite you to connect what you desire. Bring it in, bring it on. Ask your heart.
awareness. You just stay where you are in that sacred space you've opened. Let me share with you how those difficult times, challenging moments and months can be of service. So they might feel like winter when our collective consciousness goes in and goes deeper. It is in the quietest times when it doesn't look like anything is happening that growth is indeed unfolding. And as you go deeper into your trust, your center of creativity or your passion, it will come back tenfold. It's hard to see in those moments, but if you allow your mind to soar with whatever your creativity is, it will come back. So being this vulnerable, open state, see if you can inhale, softening the back of it as you exhale, breathing up your spine, inhaling, softening into connection with your shoulders as you exhale. One more time, take a deeper inhale now into center of your throat. I invite you to exhale into your very own and unique expression. Then keep breathing and keep feeling your body that might feel quite strange. It will turn back to normal soon. If you had something coming through for you, please write it down. Bring it from the fifth dimension where we've been into the third dimension. It might be of service for the next year. If you want to stay in silence, stay in silence. I want to share with you three things before I leave you here. The wisdom I quoted is coming from a beautiful book called The Purpose of Your Life from Carol Adrian. Amazing book. If you're an artist and you want to collaborate with me creating psychedelic breath soundtracks, please reach out. If you want to become a teacher, reach out. I'm offering teacher trainings and I want to share this method with as many people as possible. Thank you so much for showing up, for practicing. I wish you an amazing, amazing year and I hope to see you on a dance floor. Namaste everyone. Welcome to Abracadabra TV. Live exclusively on Twitch.